What is up everybody? This is my microphone, Logan here, and today we are gonna talk about one of the best, fastest, sturdiest shell rooftop camper combos on the market. I'm talking about the GFC. These are almost 100% made in the USA, actually not too far from where I live in Idaho. These are made in Belgrade, Montana. So stick around and come with me to see how I got this bad boy on top of my 21 Tacoma TRD Off-Road Pro. We're not only gonna go on a crazy adventure together, but we're gonna get an in-depth tour of the factory and how these things are made and why they are the best camper on the market, period. Stick around, buckle up, and let's learn how you can get your hands on one of the best campers on the market. Let's go. What is up guys? Holy cow. This is not how I envisioned starting this video. Um, this video was about me going to pick up a GFC, showing you guys how they make GFCs, where GFCs are from, and what they're all about. I knew I had to drive up to Island Park to come to my parents' cabin because I'm due to get my GFC on my 21 Tacoma pickup truck. So I drove up, got here yesterday in anticipation of a possible snowstorm, which is currently wrecking our faces right now. So I got here to Island Park, Idaho yesterday, stayed the night. I'm supposed to meet Clay in Belgrade, Montana, that's where GFC is from. I'm supposed to meet him at the facility today at one o'clock, but uh, the snowstorm hit. I've only seen snow like this a handful of times in my life, but got here. It was kind of snowing yesterday. It looked like on the weather that it was going to clear up tonight. Had maybe just a skiff of snow on my truck. Woke up this morning to a very different story. Look at this thing. I had all this shoveled. It's at least nine inches, eight inches. I don't know. Look at this. It is not stopping inside my truck. Just total dark room. <laughs> Today's a good day for skiing, but not for driving. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned off and just see how the roads are thick with clouds. Holy cow, guys. It is snowing good. You can feel it. You can just, you can feel it when the clouds are thick like that. It's a snowy one. Well, you guys, since I left you last, I was teetering on the edge if I should go or not. Decided not to go. That's why we are still here. Right after I filmed that last update, it came in hard and really hasn't quit snowing until just now. It's really lightened up. It's about 4 p.m. now. Um, I called Clay, the guy that's going to be helping me do the install in Belgrade. Um, he's cool with me coming in Monday, so today's Saturday. Poor me. I have to stay in this beautiful winter wonderland another day and a half before I can get this bad girl rigged up totally so since last night it has snowed like 30 inches and plow guy literally i was coming out with my shovel just to shovel out like wheel wells for my tires but as i was shoveling big old plow came through did the driveway and so now we're good for a while but this adventure continues you guys uh <laughs> biggest storm to hit island park idaho in a long time and it hits the weekend i'm supposed to be getting my gfc on here's to monday if i don't see you guys till then that's when the exciting stuff's gonna happen. All right, you guys, we are trucking. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna include all of that stuff leading up to this moment right now, but if I did, you already know. I am heading to Belgrade, Montana, where GFC Go Fast Camping is located. They make some of the coolest pop-up, ready-to-go campers for trucks and SUVs. And today, on this special Monday, I'm getting one installed on my rig. You guys may have seen the one that they put on Casey's truck. We've used it on a couple hunts, and they are amazing. Eric has one on his, too. Honestly, that's the reason we were able to kill that giant bull in Arizona was because of Eric's GFC. So we are launching this expedition, heading north from Idaho into Montana. We're going to Belgrade. I've been chatting with Clay, the guy that I'm working with, and he said since I couldn't make it in on Saturday at one, that Monday would work. And we're gonna get also a sneak peek on how these things are made and maybe some more information on why they're the greatest truck top camper on the roads today. So buckle up, 
we're heading north. Gonna get this GFC installed. The roads don't look terrible right now. They're definitely icy. We're gonna keep it between the navigational lines. My off-road recovery equipment consists of a tow strap and a snow shovel. And <laughs> I have my Garmin inReach because I'm heading through the Gallatin Gateway. I'm gonna lose service just in case. Also got some snow boots, gloves, a blanket, all the necessities, but you guys, you can't even see the speed signs on the side of the road. There's snow up and over the speed signs. So here we go. Hopefully we can make it to Belgrade in one piece. We're safe about it and uh, today's a great day. So come along, this should be a good video. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. We have made it. They did not get nearly the snow that we did. The entire south side of like Big Sky and up and over that pass, all still ice and snow heavy. And as soon as I made it up and over, it was sun on asphalt and beautiful driving. So we are one minute away, 0.8 miles from GFC. And let's just say this little boy's excited. I hope you guys are excited too. All right, you guys, so we just got here to, you would say like 50% of the GFCs get up, come out of here or get installed. So we are in Belgrade, as you can see, and uh, the camper is here. <laughs> they got this sweet jack to lift them up and then I'm just gonna back in, set it on. So can, I'm gonna introduce you to the video. This is Clay, engineer. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I, I like do our like operations and stuff. So we got Clay, operations director, and Colton's in here helping us out today. And these guys are gems because I was supposed to be here Saturday and you guys saw what happened there. So I'm gonna back my truck in here and uh, I guess we're gonna put it on. Hell yeah. <laughs> on there we got her on well by we I mean clay clay did this whole thing basically by himself super fast but just like that guys it's on we're gonna go check out kind of how they build these things and stitch the tents so come along so I'm, my name is clay I'm uh, the operations director here at GFC and I'm kind of in charge of how things move through our facility and out the end to the customer um, our entire production model is based off of a pole model so we don't stock anything in-house. Anything that we make is already purchased and ordered and it has some sort of fulfillment date and all that. So everything that's out in the yard over there is uh, completed within the last two weeks. The reason we do that is because we have, we have about 51 different uh, model numbers that serve about 81 different trucks. And within each one of those model numbers, so within those 51 model numbers, we have 96 different configurations. So that gives us just over 4,000 different camper com uh, combinations that we can make, so it really doesn't make sense for us to stock anything. So with that, we've developed our entire production system to pull through from an order. So somebody places an order for a third gen short bed Tacoma with black panels, a tangerine tent, side doors, beef rack, whatever other configuration options that they have. We then start the process of making that camper based off of our in queue items based off of our production sequence, based off of our lead times and all that. Um, start to finish, once the camper enters production, it takes four days to make the camper. Given the amount of orders that we have in, our lead time usually sits around 10 weeks. So GFC prides itself on doing as much as we can in the US, and especially just in this facility that we're standing right now. I'd say 96% of what we do here, as far as creating our design products, so not counting our struts or our latches, stuff that we purchase from other places. All of the stuff that we design, about 96% of it's done here. The only thing that's not is actually through this door to the left here, um, our extrusion, the actual aluminum pieces that make up the frame, but those are done by a place in Salt Lake City. That other 96% is all done here. Everything comes from a raw material to a final product within these three buildings that are standing around here. So we have 
four main areas. We have our fabric area, our machine area, an inventory area, a fulfillment area, and then over behind us there is our final assembly area. And we also have another shop down the road that does all of our laser cutting. So everything comes in as sheets of, sheets of aluminum turn into panels, um, sticks of billet aluminum turn into our corners and our caps and our latches and all that. Rolls of fabric turn into our tents and mesh and all that fun stuff. And then our, our extrusion that again comes in from Salt Lake turns into the frame of our campers with everything that's in Machine Town over here. We do all of our heat pressing, all of our tent construction in-house in the building just behind us. Again, it's a pull system, so we try to structure everything. The entire layout of that building moves through from raw material to our cutting area, to our heat pressing area, to our sewing area. And then that moves through a couple different buildings and ends up in final assembly. Same thing happens over here with our um, extrusion machines and our billet machines. It comes in as bundles of extrusion and then those get cut, machined and kitted together and move through a couple other buildings and again end up in final assembly um, with the tent, with the panels, with any other pieces that the customers ordered and those things are all put together within one camper. And all of that again happens in four days. One of the really cool things that GFC does is within our machining area. We have seven different CNC's in here, some of which machine our extrusion, but the others machine all of our billet. So the components of the camper are like the corners, the caps, um, the tent latches, all the things that are made out of solid aluminum. Um, those those four machines are robot tended. So basically we have one operator that can run these machines throughout their shift. It takes about 20 minutes to set each one of them up and then they run for four hours. So um, there's some shots of the robots picking up uh, different pieces and they're completely robot tended. So the operator only has to cut a bunch of billet into certain size strips, and then the robot will pick from the set of strips. It'll set it in the machine. The machine will run and it'll do a first op on the part. Then the robot will come in, flip the part over, the CNC will close again, the, the CNC machine will do the second op, and then the robot will pull it out and eject it, and then put another piece in. And it'll do that consistently for four to five hour cycles. All right, you guys, we just made it back to Idaho. The GFC has been installed. It was quite the journey getting back, but we have made it. We are home, and I couldn't be more stoked about this thing. So let's get right to it. Let's do a quick rundown of how it works, how it operates, and how you are gonna use yours once you get it. So first things first, all of the latch panels have these lockable latches. That is super easy to open and get into. You can actually open all three of them and have them used as a sunshade or rain. It's called cabana mode when you open all of them, but it also allows a nice cross breeze through the shell of your truck if you're camping and it's hot and you want a nice breeze below you. So the tent is held down by two of these latches that are super easy to deploy. You just pull the pin and lift the lever, just like so, pull the pin, lift the lever, both sides. And just like that, you guys, you press up, and camp is deployed. It is honestly quite insane to me how fast you can pull up to an area if you get there late in the dark or you're just trying to get out and get scouting or glass and how fast you can have this tent set up. Easily under a minute and you're going. Not only does it set up super easy, but you can take it down in seconds. So with the tent up and the back canopy open, what is hard to express is how easy it is to access the sleeping area from down below. Open this panel as well to give you guys some more light. But these cushions actually push up into the tent and you can be sleeping along this way and be able to reach down and grab stuff from your bed or just access it through your cab. You can also opt for a ladder kit, which I did. If you have an SUV, obviously you're gonna need to get the ladder kit with the side doors because you're not gonna be getting in your tent through your SUV roof. So just like that, we have access from the side to climb up into the sleeping area. And what I like to do is take my shoes off and actually just set them right on the back canopy that lifts up. So I'm actually gonna roll this up so you guys can see. So on nice sunny days when you're camping, you can actually roll your two side doors up and the back door and secure them with this cloth loop and with the carabiners that come included and just have panoramic opening to your surroundings. Secured that up with the cloth loop and when I climb up the ladder, I like to just set my shoes right there. So then you have clean socks in your tent. Go ahead and roll this bad boy up as well. And just like that. You can be chilling, relaxing, waking up in the morning and having endless amounts of views. 
So right now I'm literally just parked on top of a canal road just because it was next to the shop and I didn't want to do it in the parking lot. So I just drove up on top of this canal road to show you guys the ins and outs of this thing. But I cannot express to you guys how freaking comfortable all of these pads are and how much room is actually in this. I drive a short bed Tacoma, so my bed length is only 50 inches, but up here in the mid-size truck topper tent, it's 90 inches long by 50 inches wide, but easily sleep two adults up here and possibly a kid or a dog as well. But I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna move this modular piece and show you how easy it is to access the truck bed. So just laying down, I just popped those two out and I can have all of the latches closed around the side and locked and the tailgate locked so nobody can get in but still have access to my truck bed beneath me. The other thing that is so sweet about this tent is that if it's raining or crummy weather, you can have these two sections removed. So I'm standing in my truck bed but yet still under the tent and I can move this pad as well and use this as a table to eat or to set your laptop out and do work or just when you wake up in the morning if I have all these doors closed all the surrounding latches closed I can be changing in here and have total privacy from everything around me so I have the two squares removed and then this rectangle is the same size as two of those squares and this can also be removed and put up front so you basically have the whole space of your bed for you and a buddy or you and a friend you and your wife whatever it be have the whole space of your your bed to stand up out of the elements out of the rain and away from everything else I'm six foot tall and I still on this end of the camper still have at least two and a half three feet above my head even when I walk to the front of my bed I still have a good six seven inches above my head but I cannot say enough awesome things about this it's one of those things where it's like why hasn't somebody else thought of something designed this well where it can be used for so many things. It's ridiculously fast to set up and it goes wherever your truck goes without having to tow a trailer or a shelter or anything like that. So I will always have a shelter, camp, sleeping area with me wherever my Tacoma can go, which is a lot of places, and have that whole thing set up in less than 30 seconds. And then still have all of the space in my bed, which is now protected by a shelf from weather, thieves, all of that and not compromise any space there. So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about the GFC, feel free to leave a comment or contact GFC directly through their Contact Us link. I'm gonna go enjoy this camper. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.